May, maybe online because there's there's not really that much time. We had we had till twelve o'clock, but um, not all tracks are as quick as this this next one, which is uh, John Whitney Digital Harmony, and um, John Whitney was one of the early computer uh, animation people. Um, he was funded by IBM uh, a long time ago, and uh, the, the, there has been uh, coverage of that s- that side of animation during Animated Exeter, and um, I, I don't think it continues enough. Um, maybe visual music is is the term for it. If you do a search on visual music, you may you may find a load of stuff, and um, this this is Digital Harmony. Hello, sorry, I've um I've got to get the next track lined up, so I'm gonna play that play that again. It's not it's not very long, is it? Um the re- the reason for that is that people used to put out very short samples. I think maybe things have changed. I'm gonna do do some research over the weekend and see how much of John Whitney is on YouTube. Uh maybe at great greater length than this. So while I while I line up the next track and uh, J D settles down, he's just arrived, uh I'm gonna play Digital Harmony. Uh, again. JD, you, you're not going to be here because you, li- you live in Totnes, don't you? I don't think you're going to be here on Friday evening or Saturday evening. No, I can't make those days. It's a rather long way. So you're going to miss such a lot. Such a lot. Such a lot. There's such a lot going on in Exeter. Well, you'll have to enlighten me next week. Well, we will, and we'll try and record some of it. Yes, that would be quite nice. I, I, I like that sort of thing. I can watch it in my own time. There's um, Lightstream in 4th Street, which is part of Animated Exeter. So they've, they've done the cathedral a couple of times and also the castle, uh, projecting images onto buildings and having a com- accompanying sounds. And um, that's bo- on both Friday night and Saturday night between 7 and 9. And the, the phonic party is, is uh, advertised as starting at about 8. So I would think you should try and see Lightstream on, on the Friday and... Um, if you do want to get to the, the phonic party, I think probably uh, Dumber Than the Average Bear will start soon after eight, and then um, the three daft monkeys late, later, later on from that. But, J.D., I just wanted to ask you, because you, you visit Exeter a little bit, it says here that um, Fourth Street is Exeter's most independent and creative quarter. And I, I wondered if you... If you'd got as far as Sidwell Street in your travels, and... Um, I go down Sidwell Street. I come in... Sidwell Street, from down beyond yonder, <laughs> and I've I, um, I come in from the M5, from that end, and I come through Sidwell Street. Well, it always strikes me as a bit more techy than Fourth Street. There's a bit more um, technology well, it is down, available. Down the the far end, I would say it's a bit tacky, but they, they're doing it up now, so I don't know. It's I, I wouldn't really walk down there for the shops. You so, not all the way down there. I go. Oh. I go as far as uh, maybe um, I don't know the electronic shops, the two there, and that's it, as, as far as I go. Yes. So the electronics, it's it's, it's it's not fine art, really. It's not sort of analog art. But you might go to Sidwell Street for a, a bit of technical resource. Yes, I've got to go later on to get pick up something. Yes, but <laughs> that's because. And do you th- do you think that just the consequence for you, mm-hmm. your own creativity? Do you think that that resource allows you to be more creative, or do you find inspiration in Four Street? Um, Four Street, I don't go down a lot, actually. Oh. No, because, um, I don't know, I don't have the time, but I think in the way it doesn't attract me to actually say, oh, I've got to go, I'll go down that way. 
Only on a nice summer's day when I go down to the down to the uh, down to the river, I would go that way. But um, for shopping, I, I go down a little way down it, but not all, all the way down. Down to that arcade thing. Was that one called? Yeah, there's a, a, there's a couple of arcades. Yes, there. that's as far as I go. I think oh. down there. I, it doesn't. So the shops are very old. The, I used to go down to that. Um, What's that fancy sort of shop which is for with um, you know, strange arty things? Um, Evolution is it called? Evolution. They uh, yes. used to have a nice cafe in the back. Yeah, and we used to go in there quite a lot, but that's no cafe there. So there's nothing to really say. Well, oh yeah, there's a nice cafe down there. I'll go down there. You know, make the effort because it is quite a climb. <laughs> it's a climb coming it. back. Yeah, isn't climb it? coming back again. Yes. Well, you can take the bus. <laughs> well, you can go, yeah. yes, if you go all the way down and over the river. Yeah, you can. You yes. can get a bus there and that mm. will bring you back again. Mm. Well, maybe that's the answer. Yes. Well, we'll see whether after this um, animated extra weekend, mm. uh, is that where they're, Fourth they're, Street will get more interest. Is that where they're protruding it onto the building? That's where it's going to be. It's going to be there on Friday and Saturday. All oh, right. In the evening. Right. More film. More, f- Yeah, more yeah, film. Yeah, more film. And... I, th- I think what would be interesting to me is what what, um, what photographs are taken of it or video that mm-hmm. turns up on social media. Because mm-hmm. I think that's allowed. I, th- I think the, the copyright is okay for just recording what goes on and maybe interviewing people mm. as well. So yep. I, I will certainly make a case for Sidwell Street as being creative. Well, it could be. And I think um, they are changing it, you know, with the new store being plopped right there at the helm of it. Yes. And I think in the, in time it will it will spruce up a bit. But um, it's as I said, it's uh, it doesn't compare to the centre of the of the city, where all the bigger shops are and the the posher shops, so to say. Well, no. Yeah. So you know, no, you, but they're, they're also bit. they're also rather cloned, aren't they? I mean, they're not. There's no particular reason for coming to Exeter rather than anywhere else. In well, terms I would, of the, the I would prefer to come to Exeter. You would? Yes. I'm halfway between Exeter and Plymouth, and Plymouth does not attract me to it. Well, we won't go there, do No, we, well, we I'm, won't go I'm there. not going there, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to Exeter. <laughs> OK, well, we'll leave, we'll leave it at that. OK. Because we don't... We don't here, here, You're not here, biased. Here on Phonic FM, yes. 106.8... In the centre of Exeter, yes. we, we, we're not rude about anybody else. <laughs> we just live in our own small world, and we're looking <laughs> forward to our, our guests from Cornwall <laughs> on Saturday. Mm. The um, the three Darth Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs>